Hi there, this is Jennifer Puff, speaking to you from a sunny day in the rainforest, which gives me sufficient light to run a video. This is an answer to a question by an advanced intermediate who was talking about Amateur Control. They sent me an MP3 where basically I could hear that they were very, very tight in the lips and blowing at a really deep angle on the flute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest exercises that allow you to use less um, tightness in the embouchure and to move the whole embouchure off the teeth so that you have lots of flexibility. Huh, this is a lovely face to make. I always I say to my students, I say, um, you have to pretend you're French and you're so bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. I think that's from some movie we used to watch. But anyways, you want the lips well off the teeth, which means the lip corners are forward, and you want to find a very average um, flute embouchure to start with. Mezzo piano, no demands on tone color, anything like that. But basically, you're finding uh, the center of your embouchure so that you can be flexible in leaping large distances with no muscular effort and no like excessive jaw movement or anything like that. You know, it, back in the 50s, a lot of people were taught the tight embouchure. And in order to leap octaves with a tight embouchure, you have to go like, you know, and, and make all these changes, but with the very forward kind of French embouchure where the lips are well off the teeth in the center, you're able to make changes because you can actually use the side muscles to move the lips up and down. <laughs> and I'm making faces into the camera. Anyway, so the first thing you do is you start on uh, B natural, and you're going to just be doing your low long tones, okay? But instead of doing them with any kind of, you know, dramatic intent on getting a great tone, you're going to do them with, I don't care what tone I get, I'm going to gradually grow into a very flexible tone that can have a little bit of breathy or have a little bit of intense core to the sound. So I'm just going to start on a cold flute here. Be natural, hopefully I won't crack the microphone. Now I'm going to start very presented forward and very sluggishly, like I don't care what happens. And of course, you need to be lined up in the center. If you find that there's a big, you know, fuzzball in your tone, check the mirror. You need to be lined up so that your lip aperture is blowing at the best point for the best tone. So check the mirror frequently if you lose your tone. Now, using my lip muscles, I'm going to go up and then down. And I'm going to find the fine degree where I've got a little bit of breathy and a little bit of chord of the sound. slow down my motions and get less and less on each one, I'll find the perfect center. Now at this perfect center, the flute seems to be making the sound all by itself. I'm not actually putting any great effort into it. And it's a good Mod, uh, what do you call it, moderate, easy place to start. It's a good basic tone. The pressure of the lip plate is only against the roots of my lower teeth. It's not squishing my lower lip because if the lip plate is squishing your lower lip, you won't have any of this kind of flexibility with the flesh of the lips. So, um, if you read Roger Mather, he, he talks about um, lowering the pressure of the lip plate by going down and out, so the flute is being like slightly millimeter, half millimeter at a time, rolled down and out. But basically, it's in the same position you always put it in, it's just that there's no pressure up here. The only pressure is there. Now I'm going to check my low long tones at a mezzo piano with no crescendo. No demands being made on my muscles at all.
trying to muscle their embouchure. I'll just give an example of someone trying to muscle their embouchure. Okay, that's so much effort. And first thing in the morning, that's not what you want to do. You may want to do that for some extremely modern piece that you're working on. But it's not a good basic embouchure at all. It just creates so much tension, and you can't possibly play for three hours at a time. Okay, so as you go down the flute, and you're just finding this off the teeth, very, you know, a little bit high, a little bit low. Oh, the flute's ringing by itself. Okay, you should be able to get down all the way to low C after a few weeks' work, or anti-work. And what you will find is from this very centered, very loose, very, you know, moderate uh, embouchure that you can actually leap up quite easily simply by bringing the lip corners forward. So basically, the center of your lips is no longer being pulled tight against your teeth. It's quite far forward, which gives it the mobility to go up to upper range notes very quickly. And as Werner Richter says in conditioning training for the flutist, it also allows you to descend very quickly by simply pulling the corners slightly back, just slightly. Which enables incredible embouchure flexibility. This will later lead into tone colors and everything else that you need, but this is the basics. Okay, so hopefully this worked, and I'll just see if it worked. Okay, see you. Bye.